What's going on, everybody? This is Chuckets with Simply Vegas Realty. Today, we're going to be taking a look uh, at a development, or actually a neighborhood, called Nova Ridge. And the builder is actually Harmony Homes. Uh, this neighborhood is actually located on the north side of town, which is in, actually in the city of North Las Vegas. So this property right here is actually located on the corner of Bruce and Ann, as you can see. But if we actually divide this lot right down here, uh, their project is right here. It's about 150 homes. The first phase is uh, complete, and it looks like they are starting on the second phase. There is a park within this community. Now, on the opposite side of the community, we have Richmond America Homes. They are taking on, they're taking the other side of this lot right here. A couple things that I want you to be aware of. Uh, right here, we actually have a golf course. Now, if we take a look, uh, this main road right here, Losi, Losi will actually take you out to Craig, and this is where you're going to have most of all your shopping. Now, if we take a look, we actually have a uh, Sam's Club here. We have a Lowe's here. And we also have a casino right here, too, as well. And this is where you're going to be doing most of your shopping and your commuting. And when you commute, you will be jumping on the um, 15 here, heading south to get back towards the strip. Now, as far as how far is it from that project to McCarran International? So let's use that as a reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, let's see here, North uh, Bruce uh, and and road to the uh, airport, airport, current international. So as you can see, the distance is about 31 minutes, just depending on which route you're going to go with. Okay. Now let's uh, get back into this community here. Also, one thing that I want to mention is if you actually head west on Craig, you'll have more of your shopping down here. So this road right here is the main sector road. Now, Losi, that runs from north to south, starts heading southwest a little bit. This is a more all-industrial area right here. Now, if we take a look back on the project here, we actually have a uh, middle school here. And this middle school, as you can see, Carol M. Johnston. And here's your elementary school. And this is actually walking de distance to uh, the schools. It's not that far. Also, your high school would be right here, Mojave High School. As you can see, the ratings. However, uh, make sure to do your research, okay, as far as the ratings and the schools. Now, because the project is located right here, to um, go shopping as far as convenience it's less than five minutes here's your neighborhood Walmart in addition to that uh, you have Wells Fargo right here too as well also there's a couple things that I do uh, want to mention that is very important actually if we take a look right here right across the street there's about a hundred and something acres this actually used to be a pig farm and what would happen is when the wind would blow this whole neighborhood this whole area uh, it would actually smell with uh, feces and the whole neighborhood as far as the value and the location the price per square foot was actually pretty low but what happened was the city came in and actually bought out this gentleman here and it, I think it was like 150 acres I believe this whole lot here but uh, what happened was the guy was holding off and finally uh, sold it to the city and what happened was the city actually um, moved his pig farm to Apex and Apex is located out 15 by the speedway so it's located right here so basically what happened was number one he was able to uh, sell his lot and also receive a pretty high premium for his land in addition to that the city actually gave him some land to put uh, his pigs and his farm there and I thought that was actually pretty cool but what you're going to see is a lot of development taking place here now, and the price per square foot has gone up pretty dramatically. So if you bought here within the last five years, you're actually sitting pretty. 
So let's go out to this community and let's see exactly what Harmony Homes have to offer. Also, one more thing that I do want to mention, uh, Harmony Homes within this community, you actually have five models to choose from. The square footage will range anywhere from 1536 to 2370. Price ranging will start anywhere from uh, 283000 all the way up to 314000 Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Other than that, let's check out this property. All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, bringing you another property tour. So today we're going to be taking a look at this single-story home. This one is uh, 1,536 square feet. It is a three-bedroom, two full baths, and it has a great room, pantry, kitchen island, and a two-car garage. And the starting price on this is $283,990. And let's see exactly what they have here. Also, I wanted to say the builder is actually Harmony Homes as well. All right. Oh, this one is actually pretty good for 1,500 square feet. A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's crazy how you can take a 1,500 uh, square feet home. Just the way it's designed and the layout is, it could look a lot bigger. That's just crazy. But I tell you what, the next home I'm purchasing, I'm actually getting a single story. Now, the other thing was, I don't know, I'm thinking about buying a high rise, getting into a high rise. Let me know what you guys think about that. There's a couple high rises I've been looking at. But some of these high rises, man, their, their fees are outrageous. But, I mean, it's just a lifestyle, I guess. And I want the full amenities, concierge service, valet. All right, we're just going to go straight across here. So what we have here is what the second bedroom. This is about 12 by 12. Looks really nice. Decent size. You definitely got your smack down, which is really nice. You got your 8-foot doors. That looks like a 10-foot ceiling. 10, 9. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. I think it's a 9-foot ceiling, looks like. You know what? Maybe 10. Is this 9 or 10? Not 9-foot? So we have your bathroom here. Wow, I do like the double vanities. That's a little bit different. Double vanities. Okay. Got your tub shower combo. Like that. I'm gonna have to measure this thing off. Okay. Uh, uh, 79. Okay, it is. Okay. It is a nine. I love your rounded edge here. That's really nice too as well. Look at the uh, the tile tile here. I love this wood floor top. It seems like it's going to be easy to clean. Okay, so let's just come in. Ooh, look at this. Oh my god. I like how just, just one big open space. Huge open space. HOAs are uh, $86 a month. Also, the uh, floor plan, um, standard feature options that come with the uh, home. I'm going to go ahead and uh, provide that to you guys towards the end of the video. I'm actually going to do that on possibly every video, as long as I can get the information to it. In addition to that, um, let me know if you guys want more content as far as like the neighborhood. Um, I did a couple videos ago where... Um, we did the arrow view, kind of explaining the surrounding areas. If you guys like that, let me know. Look at this deep sink right here. Loving that. This is actually quartz. Now, this home's actually a decent size. Decent size. 36 cabinets. Which is really nice. Look at this. They got some quality cabinets up in here. Like, it, it's just structurally sound. I love it. Okay. Got the pantry. Let's take a look at that pantry. Let's see what we got for pantry. Storage. 
I have storage. This is probably a 15 by 15, which is again a decent size. You got a uh, wide door, I do like that. Gives, gives you definitely the appearance, um, it's bigger. Coming into the master. Separate sh tub, shower, fiberglass. Coming on in here, we have a little L-shaped vanity, which is cool. Now I would say this is more for like a, a retirement home. That's the way I would look at it. It's low maintenance. Very low maintenance. And I do like low maintenance too. You know, if you guys don't have a realtor, I definitely like the opportunity to earn your business. And believe it or not, you know, I don't want to say I can always get you a discount or negotiate you a deal, but I pretty much, you know, can negotiate pretty good deals. And it's because I have a relationship and there's, you know, I've been in the business for some time, so there's certain things that you just gotta know how to definitely negotiate and what to negotiate and when to negotiate and who to ask. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people think you just ask the salesperson. The salesperson has nothing to do with it. They're not the shot callers, the decision makers. All they do is sit there and put together your elevation, your model that you want, put together the structural, and they just send in your file. And there's one person that says yes or no. You know, there's a value to hire a realtor. It doesn't cost you anything. What do you have to lose? doesn't make sense to do it on your own. Let me know what you guys think about this property. If it's worth the asking price. Just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you guys. I want you guys to have a blessed day. Have a safe weekend. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.